Hello and welcome to another Quick Bites. This is nothing too fancy. And oh yes, I am Sharka, your host. This is Terry's Big Adventure for the Commodore 64 from Game Tech and Grand Slam in 1989. Now, as you can see, yes, this looks rather familiar. It looks rather, yes, there's a, mm, something about this, something Nintendo, something Mario about it. But, unlike certain other games that got swept off the shelves after legal action, Terry's Big Adventure has its own thing. First thing you'll notice, you'll try, is that you can't jump on enemies, and it is, Terry's a, uh, a foul-mouthed little thing. It's quite cool, as you'll see. I'll just uh, bring up the box art. But yes, as you can see, he's got a, a yo-yo. You use your yo-yo for it instead for attacks. Now, this yo-yo has a bounce knockback attack which along with Terry's momentum is something you need to account for and learn to appreciate as I did it, at first you think oh this is this is just, just, just thrown in to just knock you over like uh, off ledges and, and enemies and stuff like that and yeah but once you, once you get, to, to get to grips with it it feels part of the natural rhythm of the game and this is this is so important for a platform game of the time of especially a c64 platform game because it wasn't particularly expensive this was a uh, a 6.99 game so it wasn't budget fair but it wasn't the full price of a tape like an ocean or something or um yes uh, gremlin but this game is actually really quite fair in a number of ways the first way is that the enemies don't feel like there's not really any feeling of got gotchas. Hello, oh, Loki. You <laughs> the cat in the background. But yeah, there's no feeling of like gotchas about this. Like there's there's not much in the way of learn by death. Most of like m vast majority of the time, when you die, it's because you you've rushed through, you've rushed ahead, or didn't account for the momentum. So it, it feels very fair, which is, yeah, not, not common for the time. Those look like, uh, yes, they look like shrimps. I don't know what they are. And those look like, uh, I'm guessing like hedgehogs, but they're kind of pink and uh, shroomy. Maybe there was some kind of shroom mutant shroom with legs and a head but yeah i this is a game i had for my commodore 64 back in the day i remember playing quite a lot but when i put it on again the other day i was expecting it to be the usual unfair bullshit euro, euro jank platformer uh, nonsense that you can get but no this is actually well crafted this feels polished and well crafted and such a breath of fresh air, and you'll see why in another reason soon as well. Now, uh, there was also an Amiga version, and there might have probably, chances are there have been an Atari ST version, but yeah, we'll take a look at the, uh, what, the Amiga version here, and I don't find it, it's one of those Amiga games, those games where I don't find the Amiga version half as charming as the 64 or, or suits it i mean it looks you got the synth the synth sampled music but yeah and, and better graphics quote unquote but yeah i it feels more home on the c64 and a lot more charming i prefer that they uh do 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 it's this feels so much so much better for, for the momentum of the game it's, it's yeah it's not bad it's not awful for the amiga and stroke possibly atari st version chances are it's an atari port but yeah it's it suits the momentum each one each game has its own vibe and i prefer the vibes and the the graphics of this the c64 version You get numbers on the shroom. When you pick shrooms up, you get numbers. I can't remember what I do. I forgot, I forgot to actually have a look at what they mean. If you can find some instructions. But yes, I presume it's some kind of bonus.
if I remember correctly, the same happens when you collect all his name, letters of his name. Hey, but it's very random, like, you don't always get the letters in a, in a level. Into the castle we go. Is there a princess there? We never know. There's a falling shroom, though. And off he goes. To a bonus scene. Yeah, this is where the uh, momentum of the... You're fighting the momentum of the Kushim on the clock quite quite severely. So you're, fight, <laughs> you're fighting the momentum. And uh, fortunately, Terry has... You can control Terry's jump arc to a degree. It's not complete fl free flow movement. But it's, you, can, you can adjust it, which again works in his favour in a game of momentum. So yeah, there are twelve. There are twelve level scenes in total. There's a nice variety of uh, level designs. Some kind of woolly rock there. Ah, uh, yes, moving platforms. One of my uh, yes, <laughs> one of my least favorite things in in platform games. Ah, oh, yes, you gotta watch. Some of those, they, they usually put um, normal mushrooms next to it for, as a visual cue, which is, again is very nice. But yeah, there are poison mushrooms to try and avoid picking up. But yeah, this is this game is very addictive. And uh, yeah, I do think it's one of the best platformers on on the Commodore. A bit, a bit of time but, uh, for home computers because, yeah, yeah, if you think of like the ocean platformers and well, that's like high tech or anything else like uh, Zeppelin and uh, even Cody's. Oh, shroomish there. Poison shroomish, ouch. I was looking at uh, Zap, found a review back in the day in Zap and they gave it 82% and like praised it for, for being like, yeah. As a solid platformer at a good price. I'd go a little higher, maybe like 85. It's not like, it's not in the 90s territory because there's not, not enough pizzazz about it to, to hit it like be a sizzler or something like gold medal. But yeah, 85 still feels like a solid because it's, it's, this is, this is a good game. To another bonus scene. Yeah, the, the the thing about this that makes it really fair and com actually completable without a cheat is that you can start at the when you lose your lives, you can continue from the level you got to, you last died on, if you choose to, and you can do that infinite an infinite number of times. So you can actually like set time aside to sit down and complete this. There's some memoriz memorization needed, but not too much. There's not much like learn by death. It's more like twitch, twitch skills, and in, in a fair, in a fair way, which is yeah, can't can't say enough, which is rare in these days. Some moody, uh, moody castle-like caverns here. But yeah, I I really really recommend giving Terry's Big Adventure a go. It's it's lovely stuff, and yeah, I'm I'm really happy to have revisited it.